Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jay from Sony Alpha Lab. And what I got going on here is the Metabones version 3 Canon EF lens adapter. It's an electronic lens adapter, which means it's going to give you autofocus support. And it also allows you to have full aperture control and it retains the EXIF data of the lens, which is nice, you know, and aperture settings, shutter speeds, things like that. All that stuff's intact. It also has IS support, so image stabilization will work if your lens has it, which is a really nice feature. It goes for about $399 uh, US, <gasps> and I got mine from uh, BH Photo Video, which is where I get all my gear from. And uh, I actually purchased this. I'm not just reviewing it. I purchased it because I have a bunch of Canon L lenses, and I want to use them on my next 6 and, of course, the new A7 and A7R. So let's take a look at this thing, shall we? Pull the top. This is how it comes. I actually did use it already, but I just packaged it back up so you could see how it came. This is how it came, just like this. I'm kind of surprised there wasn't an instruction booklet of some sort. Let me pull this guy out. And here she is. You can see Metabones. And there's the bottom. Really well made. Allen keys to take everything off. Everything's Allen keyed. The machining is excellent on this piece of hardware, and you can see right here, uh, it's the Metabones Canon EF to E-mount, and that's pretty much all there is. There's, uh, there's actually a button right here, and I'll get into more of that later, and then there's the uh, lens release pin here, all right? So now what I wanted to show you was a Canon L lens. Now, here's the lens adapter, here's the Canon lens. So, you just got to obviously line up the dots, the red dot with the red dot, like so, and then you crank it on. Now, when I first got this, it was much tighter than it is right now. So, it did loosen up quite a bit. It's still pretty tight. You can see when I'm trying to unscrew it, like, there it is, I'm putting it on. Now, right here is where it gets tight. Like that last little bit, you could hear it. I would not put this on attached to the camera itself. I would attach it to the adapter first, then put it on the camera. All right, so here's my next six. And let me just put this down for one second. And then I'll screw this on. Like so. And there we have it. All right, so what I got here now is this, my Sony Nex 6 and I have my Canon 24 to 105 f4 L lens. Um, I really like this lens because the f4 aperture makes the glass pretty small, so it's relatively light, and it has image stabilization, which I have on. The f4 is a little bit slower, you know, so sometimes, you know, the shutter speed will be a little bit slower. Um, hence the why I like the stabilization so much. It really works well. But what I wanted to show you is how the adapter works. More importantly. So let me swivel this around so you can see this side. All right, so now looking at the screen, you can clearly see how the adapter works. You can see the aperture. I could change it. It's at f4. Right now I'm changing it. It's at f8, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to leave it at f4, and I'm just going to show you how it focuses. See that? So it goes back and forth, contrast AF, and then it, you know, eventually locks on. I mean, it's slow. Not that bad, though. So let me zoom in here. The adapter will go back and forth first, find the focus point, and then it'll give you a lock. So sometimes that green box might not come up, um, but the next time you focus, see how it didn't come up right there? But let me focus again. See how it came up the second time? Uh, the first time is just to try to negotiate and find everything out. If you press it again, it'll give you that green lock. Um, I read that on the website, and I just wanted to make that clear. See how it didn't give you the green box? Now if I focus again, it will. See? There it is. I have the camera set to center focus point, by the way, as opposed to average. I wanted to tell you that. I'm sorry I didn't mention that sooner. See how it's, a little, it's struggling right here because there's nothing high contrast enough? So if I go to the right, found something there. It needs that, you know, 
white black line, that high contrast line. Um, you know, again, overall, very impressive. The IS works. The image stabilization is great. Let me show you. Here's no image stabilization, right? Now watch what happens when I when I press it. Smooth right out. See that? All right, guys. So what I wanted to show you was this button here on the bottom. This button on the adapter, basically, you can change the operating mode of the lens adapter when you attach it to the camera. You just have to hold the button down as you attach it to the camera, and then it will put the adapter um, in what's called green mode as opposed to advanced mode, and it will just limit the features and it will limit the stabilization to try to conserve battery power. I would, I don't know. I don't have any interest in that. I'm using the adapter because I want to use the image stabilization, and I don't really care about the power consumption. The, the battery life sucks on the next camera anyway, so, you know, I'm not really that concerned about that. But uh, it's important to note that's what this button is for. So that's pretty much it with the Metabones lens adapter. And, um, oh, also, I wanted to tell you, um, it will work in aperture priority mode, shutter priority mode, and it'll also work in... Um, the auto mode. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'll catch up with you on Sony Alpha Lab, and please stay tuned if you have any questions, fire away. All right, take care.